everybody. Welcome to Life at Sunny Lee with Kathy Jarvis. And it's been quite a week. Started out Monday was beautiful. I mean, we had sunny skies, warm weather, and I made really good use of the time. I spent a lot of time, in fact, the whole day, out in the garden, um, getting the greenhouse all up and tidied up and ready and covering the rest of the be garden beds outside that were ready to be uh, covered. It's um, December the 6th, I think, Monday, and it's not a bad day. We had a good thunderstorm last night, and everything's pretty wet, so it made, it's a perfect time to pose some weeds and to expand the um, melon patch, like I said I was going to. So, I've added this section out front so I have an extra long uh, melon patch next year. So today, I'm going to work inside the greenhouse a little bit since I got that done outside. So, what I'm going to do out here today is trim off all the yellow leaves. As you can see, I got quite a few yellow leaves. On some of those plants. Gonna trim those off. Uh, see about harvesting some more of the Brussels sprouts and give everything a good water. And then I'm gonna plant this bed here with some more lettuce. I had to go to the town and pick up all the ingredients because I forgot something. And this morning, Wednesday, we woke up to 27, 25 degree temperature and snow. So we're going to go out and see what the greenhouse looks like. Didn't get a lot of snow. We got enough to cover the ground a little bit and to make it look more Christmassy. Not too bad. I do notice that the kale looks a little limp this morning. The rosemary's little hoop held up well. Uh, parsnips, they didn't look too good, but they're ready to be pulled. Anyway, so I'll do that as soon as it warms up a little again. This Brussels sprouts in here did really well. The carrots in here did well. And those petunias are still working. So we're going to back out here and close it back up so it can keep the warmth in it. Then we'll go and check the main greenhouse. Everything in here is looking great. Nice and warm in here. Got the Brussels sprouts yet. Some of them still have some sprouts up here that are forming. Uh, this is the old cauliflower. I don't know if it's ever going to do anything or not. Then the new cabbage, new broccoli is really loving this weather. It's shot up since yesterday. Uh, the new cauliflower. I don't see anything in the stuff I planted yet, but I just planted it yes, uh, Monday, so I don't expect anything yet. Radishes look good. Uh, everything looks good. Even the peas still look good. The turnips. I'd say everything in here is doing really well. It's not too bad in here. The little lettuces 
are starting to grow. Mm. The uh, red leaf lettuce, which is so good. I love this stuff. The kale looks good. Thought I heard my visitor. And like I said, I don't think these peppers are gonna make it. But we'll try. Mm. I love this lettuce. All right, let's go back out. Oh yes, I knew I heard her. She's going, where are you at? There she is. She doesn't want me to be in there without her. And she's not allowed. Come on. Come on, Tab. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's Tabby. Well, that's so far. That's what's happened so far this week. Today, we're going to go and have lunch with some friends. So... It's a perfect day to do that. Now I'll come back home and I'll make some more Christmas cookies. So, off to get ready. Well, I did not get the cookies made yesterday, but we did get my trees and they came in a much bigger box but it's cold outside today it's cold outside when i got them it's even colder outside on thursday which is today not been a very productive day but in a way it has been i've been tired been tired all day had to get up early to go to get some routine test a bone scan and a mammogram and I really don't mind the bone scan, bone scan, but as all women know, the mammograms are not any fun. Anyway, went and did that early this morning, before my wake up time even, so I was, I've been kind of out of it today. So, we went to eat, and now we're just home, it's time to feed the animals again, and then I am going to make cookies tonight. We're going to make some stinker doodle bars. And there you have your snicker doodle bars. All right. Looking good. So, got the Congo bars done and the snicker doodle bars. I just got the Road Santa Claus cookies and the Hershey Kisses and the oh, a bunch of other ones did you yet. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. Hit the bell icon. That way you'll know when I'm on next. And remember to leave me any comments about what kind of Christmas cookies you're baking. And dream big and follow that dream. Bye, everybody.